Well, now he's the latest Simpsons character to be criticised as being a damaging stereotype with another character in the series, even the subject of a documentary about it. Well, that debate started in America and it's moved over here now. It certainly has. Let's take a look at what some people have been saying. There's haggis, no stereotype in that. Uh, here's Nicola Burton. She says, at last, it was beginning to feel like it was acceptable to take the mickey out of Scottish people. A very different view from our next uh, correspondent, Paul Pringle. Not at all, he says. It's meant to be a stereotype. What does rip my knitting, he says, are the tiresome tropes wheeled out on a regular basis by the writers on things like, have I got news for you? And uh, let's take another one, Tony Butler. He says, it's satire, humour. People who get offended by this offend me. You're not easily offended, are you, Shireen? I work with you, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Kira Murphy is a comedian and John Donaldson is a philosophy tutor at Glasgow University who runs a course on The Simpsons. Philosophy courses have changed since my day, John. <laughs> well, they, well they, not so much. This, this course is just for the general public. There are other more serious courses that, that will uh, match your memory, I think. Well, where do you stand on this burning issue about uh, groundskeeper Willie? Funny or offensive? Well, I personally find groundskeeper Willie very amusing. Um, and I, I've tried to reflect on this philosophically. <laughs> Uh, for, for, <laughs> of course. For, for how I can find a character quite clearly based on ethnic stereotypes amusing without that um, being morally problematic. And, and I think uh, the following distinction is very important. Um, I think it seems at first glance possible to enjoy a comedy character based on stereotypes merely by recognising the stereotypes and not necessarily endorsing the stereotypes. Um, and I think if you can draw that distinction, then you can maybe enjoy comedy characters based on stereotypes without moral harm. Kira, funny or offensive? Um, well, listen, I'm a Northern Irish Catholic Glaswegian woman working in, in, uh, in comedy, so I have to have a kind of a thick skin. Um, no, I don't find it off I mean, offence is in the mind of the offended, you know. Uh, in comedy, we get, we get that all the time. Oh, you've offended me. It's like, well, I, you know, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but, it, that, you know, that's, that's my truth. That's what I'm, uh, you know, that's what I'm, I'm giving out here, you know, when I'm doing some, some, uh, some stand-up. Do um, you use stereotypes in, in your own comedy? Um, I... Uh, not really. I don't think so. Um, when when I, I mean I have a character, um, Mistress Mackenzie, um, which uh, you know did a pilot with her a couple of years ago, and you no, know, she she is Scottish, but she's she's got loads of other different nuances. She's a fully rounded, three dimensional character, and all my characters are. Um, but my characters all start from someone I knew uh, or three or four people who I knew and then I put them together. So I knew I pull them, I pull them in. I, I've got no problem really about, um, you know, stock characters, goes back to, you know, Camille Delarte, um, and you've also, you know, got the thug and you've got the, the downtrodden woman and all these kind of things. So um, the Simpsons do do that. They do that quite well. Uh, Everybody gets it. Everybody's trapped in middle America trying to move forward and failing. Um, and, you know, obviously so you don't have a cartoony. problem with the fact that it's a, a negative stereotype? Which one? Ground? Grounds? Um, well, my, my bigger, my bigger um, uh, thing that I would, uh, I would like to see a, a female Scot on there, but um, no, I'm not offended by, by, by grounds, uh, groundskeeper Willie at all. Um, you're either laughing or you're not. And, you know, I, I think you know, the character's funny. Um, and I think the whole point is that everybody's getting it. Everybody's trapped, you know. Uh, you know the... And w when it comes to stereotypes, I mean, is it possible to try and reinvent uh, perhaps a more positive stereotype for your country or any particular group of people? I think so, and I think that happens quite a lot. The problem in comedy, though, is that comedy is often destructive, caustic, and so if you're dealing with stereotypes in comedy, then you're often going to be dealing with negative stereotypes. Um, that's just a structural feature, I think, of the comedic enterprise. So what can you do about that? Um, well, the question is, what should you do about that? I, th I, think, I think you have to really look at each case on its merits. I don't think there are general principles here you can appeal to which will say all comedy uh, all comedy characters based on stereotypes are bad or all are not um, I think a lot depends where do on you draw the line well it depends on intention and context um, and I think some comedy characters based on stereotypes are, are morally awful but, uh, but but not all are but what if the intention is good to lampoon the, the character but all it does is is reinforce a negative I'm thinking back to the days of Alf Garnet 
um, mm -hmm. which was meant to lampoon that character, but actually re reinforce. And it's very hard to watch and to listen to that now. Yes. Um, and so it's the unintended consequences. How yeah. do you mitigate? For me, for me, Willie, the character of Willie, listen, there's, there's someone like that in every village, every town across Scotland. And also, we laugh at ourselves. So there is a truth in we it. We put it out. Of course there's a truth in it. Yeah, I mean, they can't just pull something out of, you know, create something that's never been, you know, in, 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 in the community. There are types in the, you know, in the community. We go, oh, right, oh, that's so-and-so. Oh, we, got, we can have an idea of that. Of course, we were, you know, fully rounded people. But... Uh, you take a kernel of, of someone and then you, you, you lampoon it, you, uh, you exaggerate it so that everybody says, oh, I know someone like that, so-and-so, oh, that's like so-and-so down in the pub. And, you know, so that the whole idea of, of making it stereotypical is that everybody's laughing at themselves and, um, and uh, the village and, and the people that they know. Okay. Um, and I think the, diff the crucial difference is, are you putting those people down who are already um, uh, suffering and have, have already um, been, been oppressed? Um, or are you laughing with people? That's it. That's, those are the crucial things for me in comedy. Kiri, thanks very much, and thanks to you as well, Joe.